Good morning, Year 6, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce your Term 3 Home Learning Project. Now, as a school, we've taken a slightly different approach to home learning this um, term, which is based more on a project based approach. Now, we met with people of Parliament, we met with members of uh, the school, and we decided that that would be a be the best way to go forward. So it means it gives you more control, gives you more autonomy, gives you more choice with your learning. So I'm going to share with you now the project handout that will be emailed to your parents and go through what the expectations are of your new project. So as you probably are already aware, your um, your uh, termly topic for this term is World War One or the Great War, it's called. And your job is to employ effective research technique techniques and present your findings in different ways into um, what is known as trench warfare. So, like I said, this handout will be given to you um, and emailed to you, and we'll also go through it in class. But I'm just recording a, just a simple video with you just to go through what, what is expected. So in terms of the background information, we in class have already gone through when the Great War started, um, and it was from 1914 to 1918. And it was fought between, really, two major alliances. There was the Triple Alliance, which involved Germany, Austria and Hungary and their allies. And there was the Triple Entente, which was Great Britain, France and Russia. Now, what happened when um, the fighting broke out in Europe is these two alliances met on something called the front line. And the predominant mode of warfare during uh, this, the uh, World War One was known as trench warfare, where huge networks of trenches were dug into the, the ground. Um, and in between those, uh, those, those trenches was something called no man's land. And if you were a soldier in World War One, what would that mean? You would have to climb out of your trench climb across no man's land to get to the enemy. Um, and that was the, the predominant mode of, of, of fighting during the, the war. And it was quite a brutal and horrible place to be if you were in the trenches. Um, and so your job for this, this project is to really research what life was like in the trenches during World War One. So use the background information to get sort of information about what we're doing. And what we want you to do is we want you to come up with some research and present your findings in ways that you think are interesting um, on life in the trenches. So I've put here in the task description some of the things that you might want to research. So it could be that you want to research what soldiers did on a daily basis, what they drank and ate, how they entertained themselves or coped, because it was, like I said, it was a very horrible place to be. Many of the soldiers suffered, suffered, uh, suffered from shell shock. Um, there were a load of illnesses and disease because they're quite unsanitary and unhygienic places. Um, what they'd write to their, their family's home, telling them of, of, of the horrors of trench warfare. Like I said, the diseases and illnesses, trench foot, trench fever. There were rats all over the place in the trenches. The weapons they used during World War um, One, how, uh, how the structure uh, of the trenches varied. Um, and there may be famous battles, including the Battle of the Somme, that in involved trench warfare. So those are all things that you could research and you could look into if you're um, if you were to, to sort of make your project more interesting and more structured. Now, the end the outcome for this um, for this project is really entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you how you present your research. You could do it as a poster. Um, you could build a replica trench. You could create artwork displaying your findings. But it's really, really important that there is an element of written research in your in your project as well. So no matter how you present it, there needs to be some form of written research as well um, to show you kind of your, your, your findings, really. So I've put a load of useful websites on there. Now, as we're dealing with World War One, some of the um, some of the content of those websites does contain adult themes in terms of, uh, like I said, it was such a horrible place to be within the trenches. So um, those way websites are, are good places to start looking and having a look at your research as well. Now, the hand in deadline um, for this project, you have the whole of the term for this. So it will be Tuesday, the 31st of January. So what I would suggest to you is that don't just kind of leave it to the last minute and the night before the, the, the hand in. Work on this project. The idea is across the course of the term and build it up as, as the term progresses. Um, and if you've done a bit uh, one week, then go back to it, add a bit more, change a bit um, as the, the term progresses. You will not have, apart from your reading, um, your spelling practice and times tables practice, you won't have any other homework on a weekly basis. This is a termly project. So it's important that you are independent, lifelong learners and that you um, 
you take your time and the expectation, the outcomes is what's really high, high quality work by the end of this. Um, not just done the night before, scribble down really quickly um, because the expectation is you work on this across the course of the term, not just um, the night before the hand in. So we will, as teachers in the UA group, we have regular uh, check ins with you um, and see how the projects are going. Um, if you need anything from us or if you need any clarification, we will meet and, and have discussions on a weekly basis. And if you want to discuss your project with us or show us what you've done, please do so. Or if you're stuck or struggling with it, please do so well in advance of that hand in date of the 31st of January. It's, um, it's not OK to kind of get to the day before and go, oh, I didn't know what I was doing. And um, we will we will meet with you. We'll check in regularly and make sure that we are uh, working together to make sure that the, the, the quality outcomes are there for this. So please, please, please ask us if you need anything or if you'd like any support or help with this. So that is in a nutshell what you are doing. Um, I've also put on your handout um, uh, some books that might inspire, inspire your research all about World War One. There's some fabulous books, Private, Peaceful and War Horse, we're going to be studying within within class. But if you want to read them and get ahead of game, that's absolutely fine. But there are a load of other books there as well that might might um, give you some insight into what life was like in the trenches. Now, the second page of this handout um, are some example projects of what previous students have done before. Um, so some people have created replica trenches and they're labelled. Um, some people have done posters. Um, some people created a, a board game, as you can see there, um, of of uh, life in the trenches in terms of uh, created a game um, about it. There's been some beautiful artwork. Um, and, and it really is up to you. The research element is really important. You need to display your understanding of what you know about trench warfare. However, it really is up to you where you go with it, how you present your research. So I want you to be creative, imaginative, um, and, and take it in the way you want to. If you want to use PowerPoint, that's absolutely fine. If you want to create a poster, that's fine. If you want to build a replica trench, absolutely fine as well. So we are really excited um, with this new um, new approach. Um, we are hoping that it will create some wonderful pieces of home learning um, and um, the hand in date is like I said the 31st um, but we will check in regularly to see how you're getting on with this so if you need anything from us please 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 don't hesitate to get in contact um, and let's see what you can do take this take this the way you want to go it uh, go with it and, and let's see what the outcomes will be from this. Good luck with it guys and uh, we look forward to seeing what you produce.